Have you wondered how you can achieve beautiful beach waves and curls on vacation and you don't want to pack all these things? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Haley with HaleyWithTheFlare.com. If you are new here, please hit subscribe and don't forget to follow me over here on social media. Today we are going to talk about heatless beach curls and waves. I'm sorry for this video if it does not apply to you, but I literally get questions all the time on how I handle that with my hair because Lord knows I have a lot of it. So typically speaking, when I have wanted beach waves in the past, I usually bring one of these. This is a curling wand. I have it in two different sizes. This is the one inch barrel. I have a half inch barrel and it is my favorite. It's by Remington. It's a ceramic. I'll put a link down here. And Lord, do I get beautiful curls with this. I'll sometimes also bring a curling iron. I always make sure there's ceramic. I find the ceramic does better with my hair and it's less damaging. Heats really well. But I mean, when you're in a warm place, the last thing you want to do is like put 400 degree things next to your head. Am I right? And not to mention if you have really long thick hair like myself, it takes at least 40 minutes to curl all of my hair if I'm doing like a full head curl. Almost an hour if I'm doing like smaller um, spiral styled curls that I wave out for formal nights that you guys have seen before if you follow me for a while. So I was out on a mission to show you guys what I do. Like for example, these I get a lot of compliments on. We're gonna talk about it. And I tried a new method. So I've been on TikTok and there's been people talking about these silk tubes or the bathrobe style curls. So I put it to the test because my hair, even though it's thick, is quite fine. Like when I curl with a curling iron, it does not last as long as it does with a curling wand. So put some things to the test. You guys are gonna see the first method we're gonna look at is gonna be the silk ties one which you're going to see next. And then we're going to briefly talk about this one, which has been my go-to beach wave. It's a braid style. Pretty much I'll wear it when I travel at the beginning of the day. Then I end the day with uh, beautiful beachy hair when I get to my destination. So without further ado, Hey guys, I just finished doing my skincare, which is why we got a little like reflection off the moisturizer right now, but we're going to try the silky and then a silky with two Y's tonight. So as I mentioned in the intro, I'm always interested in ways that I can simplify the curl and the vacation beach waves look. So it comes with two silk scrunchies or satin scrunchies and then this very long, very long tube. So we are going to figure this out together. So you're supposed to kind of, I guess, keep it halfway here. I have seen people that take half their hair and kind of tie it off to one side. I know this is like super attractive right now, but all right. So we've got a placeholder and you're supposed to start, I guess, with a section of hair and you start, sorry, my bangs are in the way and you start wrapping it around. But each time you're supposed to grab another section of hair and pull it around. We're gonna see how this goes. Now, I think when you come to the side here, you're gonna pull a little bit more from the back, kind of like this. I don't know if you guys can see this. This might be a bad tutorial. This is my first go, no judgment. All right, so I can already say that if this works, I'm super thrilled at overall how quick this seems. I mean, I think based on rolling my hair around this, I'm probably going to look like a Star Wars character, but if you can get me nice curls, I'm all for it. I'm trying to make sure I keep the rolls around this rod tight together because my hair is so long and my nose is itching <laughs> and I just want to make sure I have room for all my hair because I've seen a lot of girls do this we are on the last strand of hair I don't know if you can see this I've seen a lot of girls do this that have kind of like medium long hair like their hair comes to like here 
I'm gonna try to do this side from this far back. I was really close to the camera. All right, so you're supposed to continue wrapping this around. I am surprised that my hair fits on all of this because my hair is quite long. So you're supposed to take your scrunchie and wrap it around a few times, but you should look like a glamorous Star Wars creature. Okay, so that was actually really fast. I'm kind of surprised. All right, let's go with side number two. So they do recommend that you wet your hair. I did that lightly because my hair takes forever to dry. So I wanted to just kind of lightly dampen it. But I plan to sleep in this, so we'll see how that goes. Because typically I am a French braid kind of gal, like dual French braid, which is what I normally do for my beach waves. My effortless beach waves is what I'll call them, which is what you'll probably see next because I think I'm going to put this first in the video. Okay, let's get another bit. So I'm kind of slicing in from the side here. I'm kind of nervous to sleep in it because I'm a thrasher. I have restless leg syndrome, so when I sleep, <laughs> it's kind of a crap show. Okay, let's wrap this around. Like I'm trying to keep it really tight. Almost there. I mean, I am loving that this is faster than French braiding because French braiding all this hair is a workout. Let's see here. Almost there. Almost there. But I would love if this works to be able to bring something like this on vacation versus all my different curling wands and irons because i mean you want to spend more time on your trip not doing your hair and especially when you're going to a nice warm tropical location you don't want to be sitting in your room because my hair easily takes if i were to do tighter spirals on a half inch barrel it will take about 45 minutes to an hour to do my whole head so ain't nobody got time all right now we're gonna tie this off and again it's that sexy star wars character vibe yeah so just under six minutes to do the whole thing this is how it looks around the back so uh let's see how this looks in the morning. All right, guys, it is the next morning. Um, I'm kind of surprised with how well it honestly stayed in place. It was a little awkward to sleep with because I move a lot, um, but it wasn't a deal breaker. So this has been in for eight hours at this point. Sorry for the morning face. Let's just do this. So we're going to take off the scrunchies. And then in the ways that I've been seeing all the people, I'm going to throw this on my desk. They've been taking the tube out from the top. Let's see here. There's one side, there's the other. Okay. Um, let's. Okay. Wait a second here. Um, first off, we need to put our part back because I know it's chuggy is what the kids are calling it these days, but I am a side part gal, but you guys. Okay. Okay. What? What? Look at this.
oh my god like I just these are beautiful I would definitely say this is more of a curl than a wave but um you guys yes okay um love first off love that um wow okay um so yeah this is what it looks like let me put it all to one side so you guys can see I mean yes 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 <laughs> these are beautiful beautiful that was definitely worth it worth every i'm gonna put a link down here this is not a sponsored post but y'all not even southern but y'all um yeah i'm i'm very impressed so and i have really thick hair thick long hair so yeah uh highly recommend so Let's check out the braided wave. So the braided wave is going to be very different than these. So I guess you'll have two options, but I'm still shook. I'm adjusting. I'm adjusting right now. Oh my God. But yeah, let's go do the braid. All right, guys. Now I'm going to show you the braided tutorial. I mean, I'm not going to show you how I braid because it's, I feel like it's low key kind of sloppy sometimes. But um, it's just a typical kind of sort of French braid. But all I do when I braid it, there's my computer. <laughs> um, but all that I do when I braid it is I pull hair from one side. So I'm not adding hair from both sides. And I do it from the bottom side. And then I sleep in it. This is usually my go-to. However, the uh, silk tube is kind of life-changing, not going to lie. But this is a completely different beach wave. So... I sleep in it. My hair is usually about, I would say about 40% wet when I do this, maybe 30. And then I just take it out. And what's nice when you do this method, especially too, I mean, really any heatless curl method is that your hair has to be fully brushed out <laughs> so that it's not snarly, which is a perk to waking up in the morning, because I know sometimes with salt water, my hair likes to get super snarly. All right, there's one side. And you'll see when you add the hair from the bottom, it really does still get curls almost all the way up, which is nice. I'm calling them curls when they should really be called waves, but. And then it just takes a hot minute to undo. Now, another key thing to note that if you have a part, it is best to do this around your part. So this is roughly where I part my hair. So when I do my braid, I try to keep it to this side. My hair's so thick. I probably should have let it dry a pinch more. I can still feel it wet underneath here. But you guys will get the gist. You'll get the gist. All right. Then I just kind of give it a toss. Give a nice little toss in the back so I don't have that weird part going on in the back. But this is the other option that I usually rock when I'm traveling. So what I'll do when I'm going to a destination is I will braid my hair and travel. Like I'll fly with the braids in. And then once I get there, it's like boom, instant beach waves. And then these even relax a bit more during the day. My hair looks so shiny on camera. I did a hair mask last night, so that's probably why. But... This is it. So let me know in the comment section which method you prefer. If you are curious about trying one or the other, leave it down there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye.